What's going on guys? My name is Matt RMC Sports Talk. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Shadows of Evil video. Today we're going to talk about Widow's Wine, all about it, and why you guys should buy this perk. As you can see right here, it is 4,000 points. It is located in the Rift area in Shadows of Evil, and as far as I know, it will probably only be on this map, so enjoy it. It could be on future DLC, but as far as I know, I think it'll be exclusive to the map like uh, Vulturate is for Buried, per se. So this, this, this perk is... Ugh. Yes, it's so great. First of all, what does it do? So when you buy Widow's Wine, um, you're gonna find out that it, it does a couple things. It's similar to Electric Cherry, where if you get zombies near you, and Electric Cherry, you, you reloaded, and then the uh, Explosive Cherry had like a force field around you that kind of zapped any zombies nearby. Well, this was even better, because this one, uh, it shoots out a, a little area web just like the electric cherry does, except it's when zombies hit you. So you'll see here during this gameplay, zombies hit me just like that right there, perfect timing, and a a web, look at that, look at that, right here again, web type thing, and I probably should have died right here, but guess what, Widow's Wine saved my butt there, because guess what? The web shoots out, and it tangles the zombies, so they freeze. They basically stop dead in their tracks where they are, so they cannot swipe you, they cannot move, they're stuck. And it also damages them. So you can see right here, my points are going up right now. While they're stuck in that web and struggling to get out, they actually die. They actually get hit damage and they die most of the time after being stuck in the web so long. So it freezes the zombies where they are. It kills them over time. It allows you to get out of binds like that. And the best part is it goes off when the zombies hit you. So that's exactly when you need it. You don't have to do anything. They hit you and it automatically goes off. Now the cool thing here, besides that, there's another thing it does. It gives you Semtex grenades, but those Semtex grenades actually blow up with the web. So you can throw a grenade and it'll blow up and the web will shoot everywhere and it'll freeze the zombies just like it does when they swipe you. So I want to leave you, want you guys to leave a comment real quick. What new perks would you guys like to see in DLC in the future? Wid Widow's One is obviously a great perk. It does a lot of great things and we'll talk about it a little more in a second here, but while we're thinking about it, what other perks would you guys like to see in future DLC? Would you like to see something similar to this? Um, leave me a comment below what you would name your perk and what you guys would have the perk do. So to conclude about Widow's Wine, I think it's absolutely an amazing perk. It is something that I get every time. As you can see here, solo, obviously, quick revive is more important. Um, just as important as Jug, because you're going solo. If you go down, you can get back up. But for the overall perk... Um, my top two perks are Juggernaut and Widow's Wine for this map. I mean, the Widow's Wine, 4,000 points, is probably the best you're going to ever spend. You'll find out why as soon as you get hit once or twice, and it does what it's supposed to do for you. And then you get the Semtex grenades. Now, the cool thing, as you might see here in a gameplay, I don't know why it hasn't happened yet, but what happens is after a while, your web will kind of wear out, right? You run out of web. Um, and what happens there is it actually takes away the Semtex grenades. But what you can do is you can get these little spider drops. So every once in a while, when a, a zombie gets tangled in a web and dies it will drop a blue spider a blue glowing spider it's a black spider but it's glowing blue and it just looks like any other power-up drop and you'll see what it looks like in the game um and it you can go over and pick that up they don't last very long so you can go over there and pick it up pretty quickly you go and pick it up and it replenishes your uh spider web spent semtex and your supply of spider web you can shoot out from your body so those are things to look out for when you're actually playing the game but that is widow's wine it's an amazing perk i think it's probably 10 out of 10 in my opinion wood bang for sure and uh, I would say definitely go and buy it. Try it out if you haven't yet. It is in the Rift. It is accessible through the Beast mode. You have to unlock it like all the other perks. You have to go and go into the Curse mode and zap it to turn on. But it is definitely worth the 4,000 points. Make sure you guys smack that like button if you guys like Widow's Wine and you like the new map, Spider Shadows of Evil. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. And we'll see you guys all later. Have a great day. Peace. Fly with the Hawks. You begin when you subscribe.